Welcome back gang to another hair tutorial on this wonderful Texture Tuesday, Tutorial Tuesday on the Pom Pom Sisters a YouTube channel and we are finally removing these six week old knotless braids that Kalia has been wearing for pretty much the entire summer. So I was lazy, I am a total lazy mom, lazy natural. If I can get away with not having to style Kalia's hair for a couple of weeks, I definitely will milk the hell out of it. So I definitely milked it with these knotless braids. By the way, if you want to know how I installed them and the products we use and how we I managed to get all of this hair braided, you can check out our knotless braids box braids video for kids. I will leave the link in the description bar for you guys to uh, check out later. So this one, we're going to do a wash and go. I feel like it's been forever since I have seen Kalia's beautiful curls. So after removing all of her hair, I made sure I brushed it out to get as much of the lint and build up from all the waxes and hair products that we have added to her hair. This is pretty much the all of her shed hair for the past almost two months. And here is her hair after being completely brushed out. And, uh, my goodness. So, as you can see, this is why I milk any kind of protective style that I put into Kalia's hair, because she just has way too much hair for me to try to maintain on the daily basis. So we're gonna go ahead and go into her wash day. We're going to go in with the Aussie Miracle Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. And since she hasn't had a deep condition or a hair mask in the past six weeks, we're also gonna go ahead and do a hair mask using the Cream of Nature Pure Honey. It is a moisture replenishing and it helps with strength. It has honey and coconut oil which are a fan fave when it comes to Kalia's curls they definitely put that moisture back into her hair after wearing those braids for so long so normally I usually go in with a four sections when it comes to detangling and adding the conditioner and the hair mask but with as much hair as Kalia has I have to do at least six sections on her hair just to make sure that I'm distributing product product well and every strand is being coated saturated and cared for All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with her wash and go products. So as you see me applying these products and finger raking them through, I'm gonna talk about each and every product that I'm using and the benefits that I like that they perform on Kalia's type two, type three curly hair. So for her wash and go, I like to go in with a cream leave-in conditioner, two gels, and a hair oil at the very end of adding all these products. So with her hair being soaking wet, freshly washed, I'm gonna first start off with the leave-in cream conditioner. And remember when I said I sectioned her hair off into six, six sections, we're gonna still continue those six sections as we apply all four of these products to, for her wash and go. So for the leave-in cream conditioner, which is by ORS Olive Oil, it has ghee butter and coconut. The ghee butter works very well for moisturizing the scalp and the coconut oil is a very light well oil that's going to help seal in any moisture. So I love this product because it is very heavy. It's going to help with keeping down that frizz as well as adding that definition to her wash and go. The first gel is going to be the Gold Series Curl Defying Pudding by Pantene. This product smells really, really good and it's a nice thick, creamy, gel-like consistency where you have the the best of both worlds where it's a cream as as well as a gel and this has argon oil infused with it which argon oil is a very nice lightweight oil that adds shine to the hair we'll go in with the eco styler gel which has the castor oil olive oil flaxseed all mixed up into this one gel i like to take this and use it on the roots of her hair her roots tend to be the most frizziest this is where i tend to have to be very heavy handed on any type of gel that i use for kalia's wash and go now her look i prefer definition over volume versus myself i prefer volume over definition but kalia does not lack volume whatsoever so as this wash and go gets older and older through the week that volume will eventually begin to show because of course the gels and the leave-in cream will eventually start wearing off throughout the week so volume is never an issue when it comes to her hair my main concern is definition so i like to start with making sure her curls are going to be defined for the entire week 
and the volume will come later throughout. Then once we apply the leave-in cream, those two gels, the very last product is going to be the hair oil. And I put that on at the very end of her hair. Once I've done all six sections with the cream leave-in conditioner and the two gels, I go in with the hair oil. My hair oil of preference right now is the Pretty Strands hair oil where it has like over five different oils mixed up in one. It is a superfood oil. I love everything about this oil. I will use it on her scalp and as well as put some in the palm of my hand, rub it together and apply it to her hair. And that's just going to add extra shine to her hair as well as lock in that moisture. So her wash and goes usually last anywhere from four to seven days. I try to stretch them out, of course, till at least a week because like I said, she has way too much hair. I am a lazy mom. I do not like having to constantly do hair every day. And with three daughters, I try to make sure I find styles where I'm not constantly doing hair every day other than the regular touch up where she may need some gel here, replace a bow right there. That's about it. Nothing where I'm like legit going through a hairstyle every day so her washing for her washing goes to last i need to make sure i use good products that are going to be heavy and hold in that definition and just keep her hair looking somewhat decent for the week and with school starting back up i want to make sure she has a hairstyle that will last her at least the five days As you can see here, I am going through every single strand, making sure it is saturated with the cream and the two gels. And this is going to make sure we have the ultimate defined wash and go. So I'm going through every little strand. Must I repeat, we prefer definition over volume. Volume will come on day three, day four hair. We're not concerned about volume when it comes to making sure this wash and go is going to last. We want the definition. So that is my key, key key tip for doing her wash and goes is making sure her hair is saturated with the cream and the two gels to provide her the ultimate definition. All right, gang, so just a recap because I know I kind of talked a lot about each and every one of those products. So I just wanted to, you to know the benefits of why I use each one of these products. They have a purpose. So we're gonna go back over the steps just so you know how we're doing this. The first step is going to be that leave-in conditioner. I am going to use a detangling brush to distribute that throughout the entire section of the hair. The second step is going to be the Gold Series Curl Defying Pudding. We are going to distribute that throughout the entire section from root to end, making sure that we just finger rake to add that definition. The detangling brush might try to pull those curls apart and add way too much volume. So we're gonna finger rake this, this section. The third step is going to be that Eco Styler Gel, which we apply to the roots of her hair. This is the gel that has the most hold. So we want to make sure her roots are going to be in place. So once those products are uh, applied, we are then gonna go through each strand, saturating, making sure that it is evenly dis distributed from root to end. And then once we are done with that, we will let it air dry or it will she will sit under a dryer on cool air once that is all done we'll add the hair oil just for shine and to make sure all that moisture is sealed and locked in and she is good to go that is it i know that was a lot her dry time i had her sit under a hooded dryer on cool air for an hour and then the rest of it was air dry time. So that probably took maybe 12 hours for her hair to be 100% completely dry. And this style will last her three to seven days, depending on how I continuously care for her and make sure she wears her bonnet and all that good stuff. That seems to be our biggest problem right now is making sure they put their head wraps on. So that is it. That is how we achieve Kalia's curly defined hair. Thank you guys for joining us for another tutorial Tuesday. We will see y'all on our next video. Bye.